What the fuck is a sword? I could give you a demonstration, but first, what's your favorite hand? Well, my left. Great. <laughs> Subscribe. Hello, Internet. It is I, the Roshi, and I'm back with another reaction, this time reacting to a little more Maxor. That's right. Today, I'm going to be reacting to an incorrect summary of Metal Gear Rising Part 1. I've been looking forward to seeing more of Maxor's stuff, and today is that day. So let's get into it. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is not a word in the dictionary. It's also one of my favorite games, besides Genshin Impact. Created as a hmm. spin-off to the critically acclaimed Metal Queer Solid 4, Guns of the Pirates, we are cast as Raiden, whose resume involves fighting the Illuminati and a bisexual vampire, trading off slow stealth gameplay and conference calls of an unspecified duration for pulse-pounding action gameplay, unique cutting mechanics, and the stupidest plot of any game since uh, the last one. You know, the one where Headache Kajingles puts his protagonist in a microwave, now caught in a worldwide what? conspiracy headed by an evil and okay. destructive em <laughs> so i just have to say real quick that i'm gonna be really confused during this i know very 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 little about the metal gear series um i think i know some character names i mostly know it through memes yeah keep that in mind i guess let's let's continue Empire called the United States. It's up to us to stop Senator Dwayne The Rock Johnson from becoming black, fight cyborg what? dinosaurs controlled by orphans, and fight a series of extremely online YouTube personas for, such as Jack Bezos, the Nintendo Virtual Boy, and Markiplier. I'm gonna come find you. Set oh to the God. tune of a hardcore rock soundtrack made by the world famous Toontown Online composer for the express purpose of killing anyone above 40. And to complete our journey, we will have to resort to unrestricted brutality, cutting and slicing our enemies like a human sized slap chop in between philosophy about the nature of conflict, the morality of separating families the hard way, and hmm. memes. They made Twitter into a plot point. So if any of oh that interests you, feel free to join me as we dive headlong into the wonderful madness of Metal Gear Rising Revan Gians. And the voices now activated. Once again, the editing, top notch. This looks really cool though. I mean, gameplay wise, I like the, the slashing mechanic that we're seeing. So we boot up the game, but it doesn't support high resolutions. To fix oh. this, we head to NeoGAF and download a virus. Now I can do any <laughs> resolution. What amazing gameplay. Our story what? begins in the 2009 color scheme with our hero Raiden protecting President Barfsackle Crumbo. He's touring his birthplace of Kenya. I am uh, President United States Obama. Mr. President, you have dementia. Uh, drone strike the wedding. That can be arranged. What the fuck was that? Insurance fraud. Why, hello there. Would you care to see my RGB lighting? I spent $3,000. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Oh. Hmm. I'll just have to give you a demonstration then. Oh my oh, god. Oh shit, he's got RGBs. Let's get the fuck out. I guess you could say he's half the man he once was. Obama, I have a uh, shit my doo doo ass. Don't worry, Obama. I'll protect you from this sidewalk. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the first enemy in the game. Now he's the first 100 enemies in the game. This is the standout <laughs> feature of Metal Gear Rising. The ability to cut anything, and I do mean anything. Nature, oh my God. humans, telepathic traffic poles, a family of four, and even staircases that are required to progress the game. I, I think oh, that's shit. an oversight. This was groundbreaking stuff for the PS3. Use it to hit weak points, confuse your enemies, and prevent them from attacking, or accelerate deforestation. What are you doing, Ryan? Most animals deserve to be extinct. Where the fuck is Ryan? Hang on, I think I'm hearing a uh, boss music oh shit my game crashed i'm just gonna uh, run i thought that through. was me crashing uh, <laughs> the health care you say i'm a specialist ah, a new customer <laughs> let's oh. hope obamacare covers euthanasia my name is Obama. I, uh... Shut up. 
Stop right there. Put down President Bumcrack Osama. I'll put him down, all right. But no, I have a giant robot. Federal agent spotted initiating. Why didn't I see that? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the tutorial boss. We're currently hmm. undergoing a learning experience, the one you can only get with a giant laser. This is maybe the best game ever made. And although the gameplay <laughs> is a little simple, the sheer scale makes me feel both empowered and quite intimidated. It's just a wonderful way to do it when you don't look like a cracked up rooster. Of course, there's no need to worry because Raiden is fucking jacked. <laughs> what the hell? Mission accomplished. So Raiden uh, runs all the way to a locomotive to confront Dimes for Crimes, led by This game looks stupid, but in an amazing way. Have any of you played this game? Should I play this game? I don't know. It looks like a lot of fun. And once again, the destructible environment and the, the slashing mechanic. I mean, obviously that's what this game's about, as Max Orr said. Uh, but I mean, who doesn't want to play super dramatic Fruit Ninja? Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. None other than Buff Bezos. Uh, Mitch McConnell, <laughs> uh, please trust me. Why do our politicians hog all the good missiles? Obama. Your prime has expired, Raiden, and so has his life. Oh! Nice. It's time for the next boss fight. I say that sarcastically because most people would classify it as a fucking suicide. I'm surprised this is on the train instead of in front of it. Face it, Jack, you can't even hold a sword. Ah! Oh. What the fuck is a sword? I could give you a demonstration, but first, what's your favorite hand? Well, my left. Great. <laughs> Oh my I'm God. about to level up, Jack, and you look like just enough XP. Oh fuck, he's using bullets. Need a <laughs> hand, right? And also, who am I? So long, I'll be back for you, bitch. So at least two minutes pass, and Raiden is traversing the vacuum of space on his way to the. Colonel, I'm trying to fly around, but the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting. Raiden, I'm playing Genshin Impact, but I've run out of credit card debt to purchase Ganyu. So if you can, can you lend me a, a hand? I, I will surely stop collecting them. You have a... That's so depressing. I'd be so distraught if I couldn't have Ganyu. I want Ganyu too. But I guess I'd have to play the game first. Anyway. So after the roughest plane ride since Delta, we head to a third mm. world shithole known as Russia to find the men who killed President Bumsack of Chungus and put an end to their illegal razor blade factory. Wait a second, where's the runway? Finally equipped with his new customizable gamer mouse body, Raiden begins <laughs> his journey by encountering three helpless victims, knocking them to the air and scooping out their spines like fucking ice cream. You see, this is actually our primary method of healing since oh. every spine is filled to the brim with delicious electricity. Electrolytes. This is the actual term used in the game. Just like American football, the soldiers of the future are fueled by Gatorade. We, however, really? are fueled by violence. They say electrolytes. And I've got a call. You should kill what? yourself now. Oh. So anyways, we head to the streets to get acquainted with the stealth, but unfortunately for the populace, it's completely optional. So instead, we decide to fight the foot fetish tank. And let me tell you, this enemy is real fun to kill, especially considering their fucking jump speed. Man, there really is no time between these cutscenes. Oh, fuck. No sex offender spotted. Oh. What the dog doing? <laughs> What the fuck is a dog? You are such a fucking Philistine, Raiden. Wait, how do you know my name? I am reprogrammed with knowledge of everyone. Oh yeah? Yes. Who's your owner then, little dog? The NSA, but my handler is a white woman. Damn, that's rough. I will never eat peanut butter ever again. For our next battle, we have Blade Wolf. Jesus. And let me say, if you don't know how to parry more than one attack, it's um time to learn. I um, uh, don't know what attack this is. What the hell? Fortunately, Blade Wolf will stop yiffing and call in Meals on Wheels, which allows us to partake of the Gatorade Eucharist. Mm. Now with the power of Jesus in our veins, we donate Blade Wolf to a kill shelter, and then he monologues. You're gonna stay on my dick until you die. You're Somehow, I've arrived at the Bitcoin factory. I've been moderating your Twitch for months, and you never told me you're the boyfriend. Who are you? Oh my god, she spoke to me. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Raiden, watch out. That woman is live on Stop. Now sufficiently disturbed, Raiden moves on to the best level in the game using my favorite mechanics. Inconvenient fencing, handy enemies with cool controls, and you better believe there's some bad stealth. It even has cameras with zero degree vision. Just don't uh, just step into the, the lasers. <laughs> Oh my 
my god, it's a woman. Please stop that. I've been waiting for you, Raiden. <laughs> Shout out to Big Chungus29 for the donation. Please stay back. Sorry, Jack, but my stream demands you die. God, I wish that was me. <laughs> that can be arranged. Welcome to the oh, world's geez. first boss fight, where the battle is against your own controller. Provided, of course, that I don't throw that shit against a wall. In this confrontation, oh, we fight the dark-skinned tomboy GF that I've always dreamed of, juggling and slaughtering several varieties of jihadist Bakugan. If I were forced to describe the experience, it would be Poggers or perhaps Papega, especially after Raiden achieves the miracle of flight when you fire the animators. But despite some of the occasional frustration, this battle is one of the best. Plus, I, uh, I like it when women hit me. Once again, editing going off right now. Yeah, that's some cool theme music, bitch. Yes! That was cool! Your purpose in life is to be in my stream sucking on my dick daily. Uh, I see. In my stream! It's, it's called a blind! You are it seems like this game is very cutscene heavy, uh, big time. And that works great for this video because he's just taking chunks of that and making it super cinematic. I don't know. A enter more gushing over Maxor's editing skills here. Let's continue. Holy weird champ. I is that a bad thing? You make me want to kill myself faster, but no matter. With my death, you will never find our secret base at 29th Avenue, Mexico City. What the fuck? These <laughs> are the coordinates. <laughs> God damn, I'm turned on. Right, we need to pick you up. What's your location? I'm... I, I'm in a Chinese factory. Now equipped with a solid lead for his Metal Gear Rising Revengeance 2013 video game. It's up to Sonic the Edgehog to make his way to the city of Mexico, complete with his 50 pounds of smuggled cocaine and a stolen Mercedes. Raiden, are, are you wearing a sombrero? It's my disguise. I'm trying to blend in. You are trying to give me a fucking brain aneurysm. Your destination is on the right. Oh my god. <laughs> now it's time for Raiden and his small pit bull to make their descent into Fallout 3. Hey, what's up gamers? Maxor here, and today we're gonna be questioning why Blade Wolf is packing an entire bakery. Better keep playing the game to bleach my eyes. <laughs> What's up, gamers? It's Maxor here. And today, we are being beat to death by a group. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It's a little weird to me that we're having more trouble with Harambe than a giant robot. Raiden opens him up like a Pokemon fan after ripping out his organs. Thank God that's the only enemy. Uh, otherwise, I'd have problems. Oh my God, it's a Smash tournament. I have to stop it. Oh good, new enemies. I was just about to run out of those. Okay, but seriously, this enemy uh, doesn't want to hit me. It's all right. I don't have a Twitter account. You speak English? What the fuck is he saying? <laughs> Can you repeat that? <laughs> Listen, I don't know what a McDonald's does. After abandoning a child to his death, we're finally able to play the rest of the level. Raiden equips a cardboard box once used in a famous well-known video uh, game series. Go called Smash Brothers. That's Wario, Snake. He also attacks by farting. Now you too can remain undiscovered in any public park. Oh, fuck. Let's just move on. Now finished with the ape exhibit, we're finally free to explore the secret base entirely without suspicion for two minutes. In that time, it's up to Raiden to escort an entire congregation to meet God. Stealth is of course optional, but so is my mercy. Now heading to the confessional, Raiden finds something that he was never supposed to see. Hi, it's Fitz with Slap Chop. Slap you, trouble boy. Slap you, got big chunks of stones. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave this game for a while. Play some Why good old slap Gary's mod. We get a call from Boris Johnson, and he tells us that the baddies are keeping the brains of children in Futurama jars, piloting the various zoo exhibits we fought on our journey. And to figure out why, we sneak in using a wasted game mode. This lasts an entire minute. If you don't walk past everyone, using some proprietary software, we assume the role of the U.S. government and spy on the bad guy's webcam. 
camps. Before selling them crack, their evil and dastardly plan is to restart the war economy by fueling conflict in Syria and Donbass, then making a gigantic profit by selling weaponized baby shark to the military. But instead of selling a Boston Dynamics dog like normal people, they figured the best way to create a robot army was to consult Mr. Epstein. So with our next target identified, oh. we advance further until we find the giant robot. And if this hallway has anything to say about it, we're in for a fun boss fight. Raiden endures eight hours of being stunned before playing his reverse first uno card and trapping it in a corner for up uh, two minutes dicing up his armor and clapping him faster than that family on the highway in my ford mustang don't worry he's a basic enemy in the next mission oh my god Jeez. i can't possibly cut through glass stop right there Raiden, or i'll blow this child who is that his head i'll blow his head open wait are you for real i don't have time for this conversation children are in danger do you know what a gun does what's a gun <laughs> So at least nine seconds happen. Okay, <laughs> hold on a second. I need to breathe. Holy crap! Uh, what 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 got me big time just then was <laughs> this game's about cutting up stuff and you can't cut up glass. This is I don't know something so funny about that. Obviously, that's the point of the joke, right? Um, but yeah, it also seems like this game is one of those games where it introduces a boss and then it's like cool. You fought that boss, it was a pain in the ass, it's gonna be a normal enemy now from here on out. Uh, definitely one of those, man. I, th this seems like super fun and simultaneously incredibly annoying at the same time. Um, but you can't help but, but laugh at it. It's, I, f I feel like this game is probably amazing because of just how honestly funny it is i mean they're self-aware right like a lot of this stuff is on purpose i would hope <laughs> anyway anyway let's get back into it we're in uh max Orr's chapter four family guy funny moments oh good that won't end poorly and ride inside is driving to hell all the while taking his eyes off the road with some cnn Oh, sweet, my programming is on. Super Idol de Charo, donate. You know, America isn't so bad after all. After being in Mexico for so long, I'm starting to miss how peaceful it can be, especially the police. Oh, no. Evades the evil forces of big oh. sobriety as they attempt to suppress another innocent drunk driver, careening through the nightmare known as Denver before encountering the police budget. Skip it about the <laughs> and showing off his toned legs. Wait a second, boys. He's white. I'm sorry, officer. I was just so busy playing League of Legends. All right, I've heard enough. Deadly force authorized. Oh, fuck. We are now forced to fight the hypothetical dystopian scenario where the government and police are influenced by corporations, specifically the corporation that we've come to volunteer for blood donations. Although Joe Ryden seems to be fighting their army of interns because most of them use a stick. Besides, of course, the military-grade Roombas. Ryden heads into mm. an office through the organs of an officer and inside the biggest elevator ever made we take it that's down a huge elevator highway. also they forgot to limit my turn speed there's even a subway section with this cool new enemy that i've never seen before i don't think oh, anything no. can ruin this what's up gamers god damn it let me tell you something important raiden you're a normie and a beta male cuck i'm only here to dispense <laughs> justice that's cringe jack and your setup is weak you can't even project yourself onto a building or a billboard. Your clout doesn't mean anything. It's worthless. Cope and seethe, Jack. Why don't you go back to Facebook and post some minion memes? No, that's not the point. Do you see now all this murder and you still aren't based? You bastard. Shut the fuck up and listen for a moment. Oh my god, it's the cringe name hey, baby. Stop right there. What the fuck is wrong with his hair? What are you doing? He looks like Sonic impregnated a vending machine. No, <laughs> stop. And he even has a fake chin. Do you see now, Jack? How can a cringe lord like you ever hope to kill my police officer? You're gonna be talking about the bull? What, 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 what? No fuck. So after chopping the authorities so yeah. fast that their bodies are steaming, Raiden gains a brain hemorrhage from watching my editing, which affects his movement slightly. <laughs> now emotionally compromised, we head through the mandatory stealth section. You know, eventually. How pleased you are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. You could say that I'm a big fan of What? Your work. My name is Monsoon <laughs> of the Sussy Imposters. What the fuck? Oh, okay, yeah, among those memes. Okay, great. Um, that's true. That's true. In so many things, in, in games or movies or shows or whatever, sometimes you have some villain 
doing some evil monologue or or any or not even just the villain just people having a conversation and they're really far away like they're super far away maybe they raise their voice but a lot of the time it doesn't seem like they're talking nearly loud enough to actually be heard <laughs> so i love that little that little jab right there also the fact that maxor pokes fun at himself too <laughs> possibly giving people brain hemorrhages from his how insane his editing is I mean, but come on, you gotta appreciate it. There's so much time and effort that goes into this kind of thing. Even though I know 100% I missed things, and I've seen things that I wanted to say something about, but just couldn't make myself able to do it because the next joke would happen, and we've moved on, you know what I mean? So, man, that, that's the great thing about his videos, how you can definitely watch them more than once and pick up something new. Probably almost every time. Anyway, let's continue. Meeting. Please stop. <laughs> no. There's something genuinely wrong with you. It's just a little trolling, Jack. You're in the land of the free, after all. And your idea of freedom is enslaving children. Do you know what the Civil War was? It's cringe or be cringe, Jack. Soon you'll understand. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. We're all pawns controlled by something greater. Memes, the DNA of the soul. They are our culture, our clout. How about full of shit? Is that a meme? No, it fucking isn't, you amoeba. You'll never be based with memes like that. You're right. About me, I mean. What? I thought I could be just like you, but that is a mistake. Perhaps I am cringe. But that makes me free. That's sus. <laughs> I've used that joke before. I may be cringe, but at least I'm free. And you can be too, if you subscribe. Back to the video. Inhibitors. But right, and you'll lose subscribers. Do it. Okay. I was fucking joking. Why did you do it? You think you can just log off, Jack? I'm starting to see what you're getting at. And if based means what I think it means, then caring about your shitty posts is a long way off. That's rich coming from the likes of you. Family guy funny moment. In this boss fight against the Monsus battle bus, Raiden rages against the moral degeneracy of violence in movies and sex on TV, using his good old fashioned no. values upon which he used to rely. <laughs> The fucking Family Guy theme song. Onslaught of attacks at average speed for a cheetah, demanding the absolute most of the player to survive the human spaghetti. So if you thought Blade Wolf was a real fun boss to parry, then I've got news for you. We've got more edge in this fight than Bloodborne on the PlayStation 1. Monsoon can fucking teleport. He throws helicopters for fun, and his preferred method of dodging is self-bisection. He knows he's three edges away from being a Sonic OC, and you know what? I fucking dig it. <laughs> so wild i wonder if that freaking hey, Jack, monologue the game about monument. oh my god i wonder if that speech he gave about memes was real i mean he said it was from the game but Thank really you. i spent four days editing that now excuse me as i oh take my this god call. You Four were days. decapitated. Don't worry, it's just a little trolling, right? Do not repost my memes back at me. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that, because your memes end here. What? That was 19 minutes? What? That... I mean... Again... Patreon series of memes I've stolen. I feel like he got it though. <laughs> See you, Space Cowboy. Nice. All right. We'll wrap it up here. So, that was an incorrect summary of Metal Gear Rising Part 1 by Maxor. And, like always, such a treat. Just so many hidden gems and some more obvious ones. I respect it. I respect the man, I respect his skill. I, the fact that he put four days of work into editing one f montage fight sequence in his video, that's crazy. Maybe it's not crazy. I'm sure other people have done that too. And maybe some people do it regularly. I don't know, but 
Straight up, it's dedication. I've spent four or more days editing videos, but I can't really say that I've spent four or more days editing one part of a video. At least not yet. Maybe one day I'll get there. But yeah, this was a lot of fun. It was a blast. I'm pretty interested in this game. It looks wild, insane. I know I've heard the name before. Maybe I've seen the slashing mechanic. Maybe I'll play it sometime. I don't know. We'll see. I have to watch part two. That's what I got to do. I have to watch part two now. And I'm looking forward to that. Well, that's it for me. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave it a like and possibly share it with someone else you think might also enjoy it. I would greatly appreciate that. And also, if you are hearing me right now, if you made it to this part in the video, then please somewhere in the comment section down below within your message, leave big bot and I will know that you are indeed a real one. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Shine on you crazy diamonds. Later.